Hello, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I'm going to try and recapture the spirit of fun. This is my edge catcher. And it's the prettiest thing about the last three paintings I did. So enjoy it while you can see it. Because pretty soon I'm going to use it to catch some paint and change what it looks like. That side's not so great. Um, anyway, so what I did somewhere around here, right in front of me, why don't I see it, is... Oh my! What did I do with my pitcher of paint? How strange is that? There it is! Ha! I moved it way away. I have a pitcher of paint. Little cream pitcher I got at uh, an estate sale. And I think I have enough white paint to to cover a canvas. Or at least part of a canvas. Let's see how far my uh, my OXO omelet turning spatula that's listed on my Amazon page. Whoa, don't dump that paint over. Anyway, so I'm calling my muse because <laughs> my muse should come. My muse has evidently been on vacation for a couple of days. We got some funky paintings in the other room with some colors that I won't use those words. <laughs> a little unmentionable. All right, well, I see that that white can go the full length, so I'm just going to make it go there rather than pulling out the black, which is what I was thinking about doing. And I have another weird plan, too. My other weird plan is to take that little pitcher of paint that actually did, one of those did a whole 16 by 20 canvas. Although I did add a few things as I went along. I'm going to put my glasses on my face so I can see, ah, yes, the missing areas of canvas that are not covered. I'm snow blind out here with the daylight and the white tent. Makes it really interesting. So we have a fairly good layer of paint. It's not the thickest one ever. And it is warm out here now, finally. After the rain cooled it off, it came, the sun came out and that was it. <laughs> anyway, so I have this paint, this beautiful paint, but really what I want to do is take some of my pretty red and flood it in there. And I don't know what's going to happen. I just want one dominant color. And it's going into the bottom, and it does always sink anyway, so... Let's put some of that Color Shift Turquoise by Folk Art in there, too. Assuming that's the turquoise and not the green. <laughs> Which it looks very much... Oh, it is the turquoise. Anyway, so let's just go crazy, shall we? Short trip. I have been dying to leave some white space and make some funky patterns quite some time. And I'm going to take this opportunity to get funky again and put some rude colors in there. I used to use that word rude a lot more often before I had 14,000 subscribers. You guys are putting some pressure on me just being there. <laughs> it's my bad. My poor dogs have had allergies all summer from the grass and it's breaking my heart. hope we can get what we want out of this. I think I'm just going to keep doing what I did and add some more colors. And I think I'm going to add some black. I have marbles in my squeeze bottles to shake the flow troll back into submission. And I like that very much. What else do I want in there? I want some of that, some of my favorite purple. Maybe I'll use the metallic version of that. I do actually get the folk art neon purple, but it dries darker. So I'm thinking about one day actually getting fast and loose with some white paint. Actually, that's just all purple, so let's, let's fix that, shall we? Following my muse. Rescue me. All right, like I said, I'm gonna get fast and loose. I'm gonna throw a bunch of yellow in there. And because I don't want it all to come out at once, I'm gonna throw some other colors in there and hope they work. I think we just need to be fast and loose for a while because contrived has not been working lately. The circus is coming to town. I 
I don't know what I'm going to get with that. And I could, in all truthfulness, just leave everything the way it is if I wanted to. But that's not really what I want to do. The timer set. I'm going to call this good no matter what it is. I didn't put any more of that blue in there and I love that metallic blue. I think it's an Anita's product. I'm not certain. Not 100% anyway. Goes very well with that Grumbacher Prussian blue. I did bring myself an edge catcher. Let's see what happens when we, the not slow tippers, non anonymous, <laughs> meet for our first ever. I'm not so sure about all that green gold. That's a color shift green gold up there, that that wonderful color that's maybe yes and maybe no melding with things. I'm gonna get right close to the edge. Let it go all back again. I think I'm gonna lose most of that. What do I want in there? I want... I have to make a lighter pink. There's just no doubt about it. Not my pukey pink, not my pearly pink. Pardon me while I'm focused and seeing the most interesting thing I can possibly manage to add to this yet again, strange composition. I want some pink, I want to tell you what. That's not the pink I want. That's not really it either. Okay, let's go back to tipping. I did not use any silicone, which is probably the norm for people doing ring pours, because most of them don't want to get any, what did I do with it? I brought it out, the edge catcher, there it is. Um, most of them don't really want cells. I don't care anymore. I want something I like. Now I have no paint on the edge of my canvas because I want to be able to hold on to the opposite side, line that up with my arm. I'm just gonna tip that all down. Let it form a puddle before it drips on me. Squeeze it over and back. Let it run toward the middle. Let's put it down. Let it level out for a second. See if there's anything to do be done. Maybe that is what I wanted to do. Maybe I have quite a bit of paint on here and I could use my straw. Soon, one of these days, I'm gonna make a painting I like again a lot more than these. But this is not done yet and I do not give up easily. I'm not giving up yet on this either. want to help me stay in business while I'm going through this period of transition, you can contribute uh, through Patreon or PayPal. The links are in the description under show more under my video, along with my paint recipe. And what else is there? Pinterest. My Pinterest link is there. My Facebook group is there. Actually, the wet and dry photographs are there. I don't mind that. I think I want to avail myself of some mega purple and just make this into something that I really want to look at. I'm going to wipe my spatula off. It's one of my favorite little tools. It's a Princeton spatula. I don't mind if there's some extra paint on there. I'm not really making brown. 
I'm just making, in my opinion, I'm making something that's you know, just a little lower key than whatever's next to it. I haven't used any black, and I kind of would like to, but I'm not going to, I'm not, not going to do that till I get to the end. And I think I have a lot of paint on there again. And what am I going to do? I am going to take my diagonal and let it run, let everything run. That is a bubble. If I pop that bubble now, I don't have to heat it with a torch. I am very interested to see what will happen. If I wipe off my spatula again. I think I just want a whole lot up there. Just a whole lot. I like turquoise and red a lot. I don't use it too often together, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't. Yes, I think I'm doing stuff I should be doing. Stuff to make me happy in the moment. I'd never had a problem making 20 minute paintings before and suddenly their <laughs> cameras are stopping and overheating and breaking down. So, <laughs> y'all can pray for my muse to come back too, because, like I said, she's on vacation, I think. All right, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's making me happy. Those are happy colors for me. Maybe if I tip all that, no. I just need some more, that's all. I'd like to tip that down to cover the edge, but I can always cover the edge with that color. And what I think is that I am going to take advantage of the fact that I'm hoping that I did notice, and yeah, I'm beating around the bush, um, that this lovely folk art neon purple color, when it's put on top of wet white paint, does actually maintain a certain level of brilliance, which I kind of like the idea of very much. And this is not a ring pour so much as it is a whatever I want it to be pour. It was a ring pour, but it isn't anymore. Now it's a spatula swipe tip. It may be a skewer in a minute. I am going to try not to overkill this, but it's pretty far along on its journey already. And I think... I'm going to take, ooh, I seem to have, there it is, my round spatula. There we go. I have a nice amount of paint on that still, so I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to put it right in here. And, not only that, because it's not too muddy yet and very useful, I'm going to put it up there. Down here, where I'm not so sure I like that red. And we are hoping my muse is back. And all that's required from me right now is that I figure out what I want to do when I want to do it. I've got five whole minutes left, and that's kind of cool. I am getting the paint I wanted over my edges, even if it's coming off my spatula. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I have no idea what to do at this point, but I think, yep, it's the nature of the beast. Give it a tip. I really don't want to lose a whole lot more paint than that. I got right to the edge there and I didn't didn't destroy it. I'm going to be back in a second. <laughs> I'm over here dumping some paint onto my table. Which is kind of cool because I just found something big and weird on my canvas in the paint. Sorry about that, guys.
This is reminding me a lot of something I did recently. And I'm liking a lot about it, but I think what I really want is some of that lovely, luscious, delicious, deep, deep Prussian blue up there. I'm liking that a lot. Especially this stuff makes cells like crazy. So that's that's unusual because for me, blue does not make cells very often. Alright, well it is what it is. And I suppose it's better to have an interesting painting that you're not sure about than no painting at all and me making videos once a week. So there we go. That's something. And all I have to do is figure out what else, what other something it needs. Maybe that's it. And maybe it's not. Now I'm beginning to feel like I talk too much for sure. Okay. Well, I'm down to the wire. I got three minutes left. I told you most of the things I think I need to tell you, including where my recipe can be found in the description below the video. If you like my paint mixture, I'm pretty happy with this right now. I had a moment to look, and I'm not minding much of anything right now. Except for that. Right there. And I was going to say less is more, but there's definitely more there, so <laughs> there's no less in this equation. Um, I think breaking that up a little will make me feel better. And I'll wipe my skewer off. That's not canvas showing. I have spare paint to touch up my edges, and it looks like I will be touching them up. Everything else is pretty well covered. I've kind of learned my lesson about going too far. So I'm going to torch. And it is time to replace my gas tank. i got to remember to do that. We're heating to release layers of paint if it gets warm and bubbles in the paint so they don't form overnight while the painting dries. Made a nice thick layer of that orange metallic because it is not covering over there. We have some nice cells on the edge. just re something similar, so I'm not going to re this one. I like the diagonal. I want to make sure that that's not canvas right there, and I think it is. That's okay. Because that means that I can come over there with some more of this orange also before it sets up. Let a nice layer drip down. Yeah, I'm covered now. Good. Okay, well, it is what it is. I don't hate it. I kind of want some pink over here. <laughs> of course I do. Yes, that's exactly what I want over there. I'm glad I took a moment. Hmm, and I got some blue with it. Cool. Not really what I expected, but it didn't hurt my feelings any. The question is, do I want to take some of that? And the answer is yes. Put it right up there on that edge. Drag it along. Take the rest of what's on my spatula and put it over the edge. And call it good. Yeah. Got some more blue paint on there. I don't mind too much. So long as it didn't get too yucky. Okay, we're done. I'm probably gonna make sure that that orange paint stays thick until it starts to set up and I will say I will see you in the next video. Um, keep asking me questions. I'll keep answering them to the best of my ability.